really excited to see the crypto freeze, as people are calling it, because a lot of the use cases that really weren't going to go anywhere have left the market. And what remains are some of the most exciting possible use cases that, that we were really excited about to begin with. So these are things like environmental use cases, whether it's the creation of peer-to-peer -peer energy grids or peer-to-peer -peer sharing of water and other scarce resources. We're also really excited about microcredit accounting and micropayments and the shift of payments infrastructures over onto digital models of payment that might benefit from the use of cryptocurrencies or digital currencies. So there's certainly a lot of exploration by enterprise within companies of a model that you could kind of think about like an intranet. We're sort of at that stage of this technology. And I think that companies are looking at this to enhance the efficiency of their processes. So supply chain, a lot of uh, work involved in tracking and tracing things like minerals or agriculture, food sources. We're seeing all of this kind of work happening. We're also seeing a lot of exploration by governments, including the government of India. We're seeing them look at both payments interfaces, but also work that might explore land titling and registries and the movement of government services onto a blockchain-backed system. One thing that's been challenging in other parts of the world, and I won't only speak to India specifically on this, but in other parts of the world, there's an awful lot of corruption in the land titling system. Not to mention you have squatters, people who just come and sit on a piece of land and then claim that it's theirs. It's very challenging to contest these kinds of situations. If you have a blockchain-based record system, it has the immutability aspect of blockchain technology, which means that you have essentially a permanent record of ownership. So the policy that we craft is really designed to maximize the potential positive benefits of this technology through things like access rights, etc., and minimize some of the risk. There are several companies looking at this. I think it's important to remember it's still a very early stage technology. So a lot of the exploration is not fully public, but companies understand and the government understands the potential here. And I think what's really exciting about 2019 versus years past is that because the hype bubble has burst, there's now a more pragmatic approach to this technology, which means that the use cases that are in development right now are ones that we expect to see have legs.